To start off our series on 3D printing for quadcopter and RC use, I wanted to start off with the fully 3D printed 180mm frame. reasons why that I decided to do a 3D printed 180mm frame and that was because I wanted to challenge myself to see if I could design something around the limitations of ABS plastic and the second reason was because I wanted to try and save on price. Now I was able to pull through on both of those. This whole thing is very affordable. The frame is under a dollar to 3D print yourself and the rest of the components can be had for under a hundred dollars. And also I was able to pull through on the first one by that I've been able to crash this on concrete with absolutely no issue and it just gets right up and it's an absolute tank. I find this actually a little bit stronger than 2mm carbon fiber and it sometimes beats out 3mm carbon fiber because of what I was able to do on the bottom which is that I have an indented middle frame here both on the arms and on the main body of the aircraft with this lining which then takes the hit so that when one of these arms hit it it actually bounces because it's able to distribute it to the rest of the frame. Which I find this to be very nice and it also saves them a little bit of weight. Which is going to be our next topic. However, this does beat out carbon fiber in both strength and price. It doesn't really beat it out in weight. This is a very heavy frame. It weighs about 125 grams a all up. So, I mean, you're sacrificing price and strength for a little bit more weight. But I feel with 4S, it's, it's an absolute beast. I was able to hit 45 miles an hour the other weekend before it snowed. Unfortunately, I didn't think about getting that on video, but I will be sure to reproduce those effects once the snow goes away, hopefully within the next couple months. But I will be doing some snow aerial photography, so be sure to stay subscribed for that. Now, moving on to the, my part selection for the build. I am running these Multistar 2204-2300 KV motors. Now, these are pretty much on every single one of my mini quad builds. I have them on my 250, I have them on my 180, I have them on my friend's 180s. These things are absolutely incredible. They don't run hot, they run fantastic, they have great spool up, great spool down, they look great. I love the green, I think it looks nice with these black props. And overall, I feel that for, what, they're $48 now? I felt that they were a great deal at $60, they are an even better deal at $48. Now, moving on to our speed controllers, I'm running Favorite Sky Little B 20 amp ESCs with the BL Heli software pre-installed. These are just, these are my first BL Heli ESCs and I am never going back for these little mini quad builds. I feel that dampening is fantastic, it makes it feel like I'm floating in the air, I love them. And for the sale price, I was able to get them for $10 a piece, they are absolutely fantastic for 40 bucks. They improve the overall feel of this quad from the old 10 amp BSCs that I was running from Hobby King to the max. It is absolutely incredible. They, these motors just sing when they are hooked up to these ESCs. Now, moving on to the stack of the flight controller and the power distribution. This is the Hobby King integrated Beck board with both 12 volt and 5 volt outputs. This is fantastic because these ESCs are opto ESCs. So they just go straight to the board and the board plugs directly into my NASE32 board, which we'll talk about that later. And it also has a regulated 12 volt output for my video transmitter, which then gives five volts to my camera in the front. Now, to talk a little bit more about the video transmitter, this is a little cheapo Iashing 200 milliwatt FPV transmitter that I got with Amazon for about 20 bucks. Works very well, there's a little button on the back where you can then go and then light up the different channels on the bottom. So it makes it really easy to switch back and forth and it also includes the F-band for Fat Shark, so it makes me very happy, which is also hooked up to my Fat Shark uh, circular polarized antenna, which then go to my Predator V2s. Now to move on to the top, this is my trusty Nanotech 4S 1300, which makes this thing an absolute beast. I was able to get my 45 miles an hour off of this battery. That's for about five to six minutes on full out flight. Now moving back to the main base of the aircraft, for my receiver, I'm running my Orange RX, Nano receiver, I love these, they get great range, they're 10 bucks on Hobby King, I mean you can't beat them. Thank you guys so much for watching our first episode in 3D printing for RC and multi-rotors. 
As with every video in this series, I've uploaded the files to Thingiverse so you can download them and print them, and all of the print settings are going to be down there in the Thingiverse description. Now, if you do want to get a fully 3D printed version of this, or you don't have a 3D printer, leave a comment down below, and I will either set up a form where you guys can order these, or um, I can redirect you guys to some 3D hubs links so that you can get them 3D printed in your area. And also the entire build list is going to be in the spreadsheet in the description down below. Leave a like if you like this video, leave a dislike if you dislike this video. Please comment down below to tell us what you want us to do next. Uh, we can do the Thingiverse, you can give us a, we can review some Thingiverse files, uh, you can give us a challenge that you want us to try and do with my 3D printer. Or um, you guys can pretty much tell us maybe if you guys want us to print something different that's not related to quadcopters, leave that down in the description below. Also, be sure to stay subscribed. I do have the fully 3D printed tricopter coming up. It's just that I'm having a little bit of an issue with TriFlight. I'm trying to modify some of the servo code because it wasn't working for me that well. I wasn't able to move it based on my all input. So I'm working on that. Hopefully I can have that done by next week. I'm gonna be working on that all this week to try and get that tuned perfectly. So be sure to stay subscribed for that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.